What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ Turner Fogerson on the uh, three Vezina Trophy finalists: um, Braden Holpe, Jonathan Quick, and uh, Ben Bishop of the Tampa Bay Lightning. And uh, you know why I think Noiv uh, I keep saying Noiv. <laughs> Got Washington Capitals goalie stuck in my tongue. Four, no, four Washington Capitals goalie, Michael Noy there. Well, I think Holpe will, uh, will win it. You know, three good, very, very, very good goalies. Two Americans, by the way, no big deal. Um, but I can't tell you these would be my three finalists. If it were up to me, it'd be Holpe, Corey Crawford, Brian Elliott. Those would be my big three. And that's not even a knock on... Uh, you know, Bishop or, or Quick. I just think both of those guys have had better years, and I don't think that, you know, the aforementioned two guys got the credit they deserved. Um, you know, Jonathan Quick, 40 wins, yeah, that's great, but, and I think goes back with Holpe winning 48 games and setting the record, uh, or tying the record, excuse me. You know, that's, it's cool, and I, we'll get to Holpe because I think that's kind of the exception of the rule. But Quick was 28th in the league in save percentage. And a lot of these guys, you know, played a lot less games, so they don't necessarily qualify. But, you know, you can do better than that. And, you know, I think you can make an argument. Roberto Luongo deserves, you know, higher place than he did Corey Schneider. You know, that Devils team in front of him wasn't great, but he had a phenomenal year. And his numbers were better than some of the finalists. So, you know, and... and Schneider having a 924 save percentage and a 215 goals against average, not getting in the top three. Bullshit, but whatever. Um, you know, I, the voters are clearly looking for something here. You know, I, I disagree with, with their voting strategy, but I think uh, Holpe being kind of the equal. I think Holpe's development coupled with Kuznetsov arri Kuznetsov's arrival slash development have been the two X factors in elevating the Washington Capitals to new levels, you know, the last couple of years. And I think, uh, you know, Holby being able to, to cover up mistakes, allow that, that high-octane offense to play such a, you know, confident game, knowing that, you know, if you maybe make a play and it doesn't go your way, you know, the other team's counterattacking, Holby's going to kind of cover it up. So, you know, that's that's something that I think speaks volumes about his play. And, you know, you can talk about Ovechkin and Backstrom because that's off crossing, but, you know, having a goalie like that, makes all the difference in the world, so that's, I think that's why he's my pick, and then again, quick, at no point this year did I watch, I mean, I, I watch a lot of Kings games, but at no point did I say this was the best I've seen drawn in the quick play, so, you know, maybe, have I have hold him to too high of a standard, but I think also having him in this discussion discredits guys like Corey Schneider. Yeah, that's that is what it is, and Bishop, again, I think for his inconsistent and injury prone as the team in front of him was, Bishop had a phenomenal year, and, you know, I, I really don't have an issue with him being a Vezina finalist. I just would have put Crawford and, uh, the other one I said, Schneider in there. So, uh, Brian Elliott. I mean, you think about it. Crawford, Brian Elliott, and Corey Schneider as your next three. I mean, you can make an argument those three should have been the, the finalists, but... You know, there's a lot of good boys in the league, and only one person a trophy. Only three people, three guys get to be the final for it. So we'll see how it uh, how it all shakes itself up. But out of these three guys, I would give the best trophy to Brayden Holby. Anyway, that's all I got. This episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.